In Nederland is genderneutraal opvoeden hot. Maar in Zweden is het al jaren de normaalste zaak van de wereld. Okay. Hoewel, er zijn ook verschillende gradaties. Vandaag ben ik bij een Zweeds gezin die er wel heel ver in gaat. Nobody has as long hair as you, even the girls, right? Mm. I have longest. Let me see. Go back. Beautiful. Mika groeit op in een gender non-conform gezin. Ze is geboren als jongetje, maar daar is ook alles mee gezegd. Why is it important that she chooses her own clothes every day? For me, it's part of having kids that are able to feel like they have choices. And there's consequences to the choices of both of us dressing like this. Because when people look at you, Mika, they don't think that you have a penis. And people, when people look at me, they think I have a penis. So we kind of like switch. People think that I'm a man, and they think that you're a girl. Del is fotograaf en geboren als vrouw, maar besloot in 1995 als bigender door het leven te gaan. Hij voedt samen met zijn partner Matt twee kinderen op, Mika en Nico. Ze zijn verwekt met een donor. Here you go, Harrison. So this is a gender-neutral family. What does that mean? We wanted to not squeeze our children in to these boxes that say, because you have a penis, you should act like this. So having a child that feels themselves to be both male and female. I would say she. Yeah, it's most people do. In Sweden, we have a pronoun called hen, so we don't have to say he or she. You are hen. Jag, I am hen. Are you for them their father or their mother? No, I'm mapa. Mika has a mama and a mapa. What makes you a mapa? I think because I see myself as both male and female. Okay, but the mama is really mama. The mama is really mama. Mama had the children in the belly. Wait for me, guys. Nice picture. <laughs> like I'm curious, what in, in what way is your way of raising different than the norm? We don't describe people through their gender. We describe them in other ways. Mm -hmm. Because we believe that from the minute you're born, people make decisions about how they will treat you based upon what sex you are. Do you think she will have a, a, a more tough life than uh, other children that are just boy or girl? Mika has a lot of advantages. I think Mika being socialized in a more female way is a very positive thing. What do you want to do? Paint your eyes. Why? Because. You don't have so much color. Do you think that children that are raised as just boy or girl, they miss something in life? Like boys want to play with dolls, but then they feel that they can't play with dolls. Do you see this sometimes? Yeah. Do you sometimes just want to be a boy or a girl? No. No? Not really. You are happy to be hen? Yeah. How do I look? Good. A little like a hen. Yes. Okay, do, do you have something so I can see myself? I look fantastic. Thank you. 